Get comfortable. In 1847, Placide Capot de Roquemar, and I'm sure I've just butchered that name, was the commissioner of wines in a small French town. Known more for his poetry than his church attendance, it probably shocked Placide when his parish priest asked the commissioner to pen a poem to Christmas Mass. Nevertheless, the poet was honored to share his talents with the church. Using the Gospel of Luke as his guide, Capot imagined witnessing the birth of Jesus in Bethlehem. Thoughts of being present on the blessed night inspired him. By the time he arrived in Paris, okay, I did say he was from a small French town, so he was on his way to Paris. Cantique de Noel had been completed. Moved by his own work, Capot decided that his Cantique de Noel was not just a poem, but a song in need of a master musician's hand. Not musically inclined himself, the poet turned to one of his friends, Adolf Charles Adams, for help. As a man of Jewish ancestry, for Adolf, the words of Cantique de Noel represented a day he didn't celebrate. But nevertheless, Adams quickly went to work, attempting to marry an original score to Capot's beautiful words. Adams finished work, pleased. Adams finished work, pleased both the poet and the priest. The song was performed just three weeks later at a midnight mass on Christmas Eve. Ladies and gentlemen, oh holy night. 